Where you go, I'll go Where you stay, I'll stay When you move, I'll move I will follow My name is Mark Robertson. I'm the program director for Our Circle, which is a ministry of Asheville Buncombe Community Christian Ministry, otherwise known as ABCCM. Most of you guys are much more familiar with uh, my partner, or my spouse, Melanie Robertson, who is your family pastor. Melanie and I met in 1981 as uh, we did a summer mission trip in Gatlinburg, Tennessee with Campus Crusade for Christ. Melanie's a local Asheville girl, but I'm from Oklahoma. And I have three children. My oldest is 29, he's married, and we have two grandkids there. I have a daughter who's engaged, she's 27. And my youngest, Micah, who's a member of this church, is 15, and he's a student at Asheville High. Circles is a national movement, and uh, what it is is based on the understanding that in order for someone to move out of poverty, they really have to have a relationship with someone in the middle class. Uh, they've learned a set of rules, behaviors, beliefs, and language that helps them to survive in that environment, but what it essentially does is enslaves them to that environment. And in order to get out of that, they need some people from the middle class who will develop intentional friendships with them and will give them the needed rules, behaviors, beliefs, language that will take to uh, survive in the middle class. The reason I love circles is because, first of all, I just love people. And I love to see lives changed and transformed. And sometimes we want spiritual transformation, but sometimes they won't even listen to us until their basic needs are met. They have security, they have uh, food, clothing, they have meaningful jobs transformation that comes that way is often the precursor to a spiritual transformation. Anybody can be in poverty at any time. You know, there can be a, a death in the family, there can be disease, there can be loss of job and employment, and suddenly you're in that same situation. So I've gone through some of that myself, and my heart really goes out to these people, but I've totally had to learn a new culture and a new way, uh, and I've just gained a new appreciation for people and their struggles in life. What you can do for me and my ministry here, besides becoming a volunteer for the circles when it works in your community, but you can pray for us because these people are in bondage and they need not just physical deliverance, but they need spiritual deliverance. And there's power in your prayer. Thank you very much. I really enjoy working with Mark Robinson here at our circles. And one of his strong points to me would be he does not sit and wait on a solution. I can come to Mark in the middle of a crisis and we go straight to figuring out a solution. Whether it's sending out an email to get donors to donate things that may be needed or a quick solution for the parent that's in crisis. Um, I feel like his strength here at our Circles program has definitely been his leadership and his ability to be able to dictate things that needs to be done here in the program. His kindness and willing to hug our participants and let them know that this is a safe place is another strong point. I feel like he goes out his way to make sure everyone knows that they belong here, they're welcome here, and they can be helped here. I just want to thank everybody in New Covenant Church for allowing us to just come in here and step right in. I uh, jumped right in on the worship team. Uh, Melanie has just felt like she is so loved and appreciated here. Uh, we just totally feel like we belong. Actually, the funny thing is, we feel like you're our tribe because uh, it's so much like the church that we um, really cut our teeth in back in uh, the late 80s and early 90s when I was in seminary and we were working in a very large church and on staff there. And it's just the similarities are so amazing and it's really a blessing to be here. I guess it's hard for me to say that there is something that New Covenant needs to do better. I do know that one of the areas that I am uh, passionate about is seeing uh, families that are in poverty, their lives changed. And the only way to do that is to enter into their life with relationship. And so I'm really hoping that uh, New Covenant can get behind circles, that people will become mentors and will give a, a few hours every month just to help somebody uh, to change their life. Every person that walks through these doors, I want them to 
know and feel and experience that they have been loved. That is my number one goal. So every person that I reach out and touch, I realize that it's all for one.